Hi, I'm Hannah, and this is Jar of Fireflies. Here you'll find content all about my life, mainly as an Orthodox Jew and the homeschooling mother of three, one of which is a type one diabetic. So welcome to my little corner of YouTube. Okay, so let's talk hair covering. I am an Orthodox Jew, so yes, I cover my hair. Sometimes it's with a wig, sometimes it's with a scarf, sometimes it's with a hat. Common denominator here, I always cover my hair. Wait, you wear a wig? How is that covering your hair? Well, can you see my hair right now? This is not my hair. This is the wig. My hair is underneath. You can't see it. So yes, it's covered. Okay, so why? Well, because the oral and the written Torah both say that it's law. Okay, so that explains why Jewish women cover their hair, but why do I cover my hair? Well, as an Orthodox Jew, I choose to follow the laws of the Jewish people. I choose to follow the Torah. So this means that I'm going to do things like keep Shabbat and keep kosher and as a married woman, cover my hair. But wigs are so pretty, doesn't that defeat the purpose? Nowhere in the Torah does it say that you shouldn't be pretty. Beauty is a gift from God and we should take pride in our appearance. So the thing is, hair covering makes a pretty bold statement. It says, I'm not available. It says, I'm keeping this very sensual part of myself private from you. Now, this is definitely more obvious when I'm wearing a scarf, but the wig still does the trick. When I'm out and I'm wearing a wig, I know what's on my head. I know that this barrier is there and I act differently. I mean, hair is really such a sensual thing. Look at any commercial on TV. It is, you see this, you know, hair blowing in the breeze. Well, my wig, it doesn't move like that. It's not attached to my head in the way that my actual hair is. It's still beautiful, but it's lacking some of that sensuality. Plus it's just not mine. I'm not gonna sit around and twirl this hair the way that I would my own hair. It doesn't move the same way. It doesn't have the same shine. Okay, so this all sounds cool and everything, but how do I really feel about it? So this is where it gets complicated. Is that still like a thing on Facebook where you can be like, I'm in a relationship with somebody and it's complicated? That's kind of how this is. Like I'm in a relationship with hair covering and it's complicated. I cover my hair because it's Jewish law. I'll always cover my hair because it's Jewish law. In the same way that I won't eat a cheeseburger or a big plate of shrimp, it's Jewish law. So I'm gonna follow it. That's my choice. I love Judaism and I love being Jewish. So I love to follow these laws. These are all things that are bringing me closer in my relationship to God. So yeah, are there some parts of Judaism that are harder than others? And is covering my hair one of those? Yes. So let's back up a little bit. I started covering my hair the day after I got married about eight years ago. The first couple of weeks were a bit of an adjustment. I was learning different styles of scarves. I was getting used to having my hair now out of my face all of the time. I was experimenting with a wig that I had purchased, but the wig was all wrong. It was too short, too brown, too thick, too not me. I felt like I was in a disguise and I ended up putting it on a shelf and letting it sit there for the next seven years. And I wore scarves every day and they were beautiful and they were fun and they were colorful and I would do all kinds of different styles and I felt beautiful and fantastic and I loved and embraced how I chose to celebrate this mitzvah in such a beautiful way every day. And then one day it got difficult. I wasn't enjoying it anymore. It became like a chore and I was really uncomfortable to go out in public with my scarves on. I started to not want to cover my hair anymore, but I kept doing it. I was struggling. I didn't wanna leave the house anymore with my scarves on. So I decided I wanted to try a wig again. I went to a friend of mine who had collected probably 50 or so wigs that people didn't need anymore, and she was happy to give them out or loan them out to anyone who wanted. So I took probably 20 of these home and I tried on all these different styles and lengths and colors. And I finally decided on kind of a shoulder length, reddish color fall. A fall is like what I'm wearing now, where you put on a headband with it and the wig actually stops right here. And I loved it. I started to feel better leaving the house. It was really nice. The wig itself was old and kind of starting to fall apart. So when a wig sale came to town here, I decided to go and get myself something. And I tried on a bunch more wigs there and I ended up getting this one and another full wig that I don't need to wear a headband with. 
This is definitely my preferred style though and I found that I'm definitely the most comfortable wearing this and I really feel pretty and I have no problem leaving the house. Now making a change like this was huge. I mean, for seven years, I'd worn these beautiful scarves on my head and now all of a sudden I was wearing a wig. Yeah, it definitely took a little bit of an adjustment, not only for myself, but for everybody around me. I decided to wear it as often as possible just to kind of rip the bandaid off and get all the reactions done hopefully in a short amount of time. Now, do I still wish I could throw my hair in a ponytail or a mom bun and head out the door? Sure, sometimes I do. But I'm also really happy with this look too, and it's super easy. I really don't have to comb my hair in the morning. I could not even wash it if I don't feel like it. <laughs> so yeah, hair covering's a very personal mitzvah. If you ask five different women how they feel about their hair covering, you'd probably get about eight or nine different answers. <laughs> It's such a personal mitzvah, but it's also such an outward mitzvah, and that just adds to the complication. Most of the mitzvah that we follow as Jews are really more done privately. Am I praying? Am I really keeping kosher? Am I really keeping Shabbat? These are all things in my home behind closed doors, but hair covering is so outward. So I hope that answers some of your questions about hair covering and why I cover my hair and how I cover my hair. If you have more questions, please let me know in the comments. I would love to answer those for you. So as always, thanks so much for tuning into my channel. I really appreciate you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much and I will see you in my next upload.